Let's discuss inspection, general appearance. Robustness and fullness of the body reflect ampleness of the essential chi of the visceral organs, whereas weakness and thinness reflect deficiency of essential chi of the visceral organs. In general, when the interior is ample, the exterior is robust. And when the interior is deficient, the exterior is weak. Thus, from the inspection of the general appearance of the body, the physician can infer the functional state of the visceral organs and ampleness or insufficiency of chi and blood and the relative rise or, or fall of genuine chi and legal chi. Number one, robustness or weakness. Robustness means the person is vigorous, the skin, nostrils, and, deep, and hydrated, the muscles well developed, the chest broad and thick, and the skeleton strong. It indicates that chi and blood are ample and the viscera are healthy so that the susceptibility to illness is very low. Even if such a person falls ill, the prognosis is ex excellent. Weakness means the person is debilitated and the skin wizened and the muscles thin the chest narrow, and the skeleton slender. It indicates that the chi and blood are insufficient and the viscera limp. If such a person falls ill, the prognosis tends to be less favorable. The five sound organs correspond to five tissues in the body. The liver governs the sinews, the heart, the meridians, and circulation. The spleen, the muscles, the lung, the skin, and the kidney, the bones. Thus, the state of the sinews reflects the state of the liver blood. The state of the meridians and the circulation reflects the state of the heart blood. The state of the muscles reflect the state of the spleen and the stomach. The state of hydration of the skin reflects the state of lung, yin. The state of the bones reflect the state of kidney essence. Number two, obesity or thinness. Obesity is not robustness. Both obesity and thinness are abnormal. In general, a person who is obese with white and lusterless complexion, subdued mental status, shortness of breath, reduced strength and slap muscles, has insufficiency of yang chi and accumulation of phlegm and dampness. A person who is thin with one appearance, sallow complexion, delicate muscles, and dehydrated skin, has insufficiency of yin blood and deficiency fire. Thus, the Yuan Dynasty physician Su Dan Si said, the obese tend to have phlegm, whereas the thin tend to have fire. Bones resembling dried wood and white and skin in a thin patient signify that the body, fluids, and viscera, visceral essential chi are critically depleted. Thank you for your attention.